This is the adaptive, keyboard-driven, non-stop PLL recognition trainer. It works very simple. A picture with a PLL case is presented, and you simply press the button that corresponds to the name of this case, like R or G or A. When you make a mistake, it immediately lets you know what PLL case it actually was. You see, each PLL case from each of the angle has 12 different variations, if you don't include the cross color, of course. So you can add your personal note on how do you usually recognize this case. So next time you make an error on this case, you'll see your note and reinforce that knowledge in your memory. After you've completed the so-called evaluation, you are presented with evaluation results. So you can analyze your mistakes, you can look at your least favorite PLLs from all of the angles, uh, but more importantly, these evaluation results are used to form your next session in a way that the cases that you got wrong or that you were slow at are more likely to appear in this next session than, for example, the U perms or the J perms that you got fast. So when you press start personalized training, the queue of tests will contain 143 cases, which will mostly consist of G perms and A perms and whatever you got wrong. So J perms that you made mistake on will be included in all 16 variations. So onto the settings. If you are completely multicolor, you can just select all of the possible cross colors. And during the session, it will show you the case with a random cross color and the random top color. You can also make it look like cube scales if that's something that you are practicing for. But in real life, most people recognize PLL by looking at its front side and the right side or the left side. So you can also adjust it here. You can even customize the color tones if your cube has a non-standard color scheme, for example, pink. And if you completely screwed up, you can just reset the settings and everything will be back to normal. This tool is available at bestsideever.ru slash PLL recognition. So if you think that there are some features that has to be added, please let me know in the comments below, because otherwise, how would I know?